In this video, I'm going to be talking about the top autism dating site so that by the end of this video, you'll be able to confidently and safely join the correct one. Coming up. I've checked over every single autism dating site and app to give you some of the ones that I thought were actually valid and I've given you my full opinion on those which are not the same old rubbish that you've probably come across before. This is all brand new, exciting stuff and uh, it is just exactly what I thought of these sites and uh, put into a video and telling you which one is the best one. Hey, my name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia. I make weekly videos on autism and ADHD and all that kind of stuff. So if you're new around here and you'd like to learn more, make sure to hit that subscribe button by clicking the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And also, if you're watching over on Facebook, make sure to give this page a like and a follow to see daily videos from me. Okay guys, so before we jump directly into the video and start looking at some of these very interesting sites, I'd just like to ask you guys a question. Do you prefer using a laptop to like surf the internet or are you more like a phone and tablet user? You know, for me personally, I love using tablets and phones more than laptops, but that's just my personal opinion. Let me know in a comment down below. I'd love to know and I read and respond to every single message. So that would be super cool if you could do that. And let's start the conversation. Okay, so a request I get all the time is people ask me, hey Dan, do you know any autism dating sites? Do you know any autism dating apps that I could use? Like, you know, Tinder, but for, for autism and stuff like that. And I go, I don't know, because one of the things that really freaks me out is safety and online safety and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I would research some of the websites and see which one of the top ones that were coming up were and then discuss those, show you a little bit about them here and tell you what I thought of them after using them for a little bit. Because I guess I know a lot of people find it difficult to find dates and find loved ones and have relationships and partners and stuff like that. So I get the idea that some people are using online dating apps and websites to find love, which is totally fine and that's super awesome. One thing we have to remember though is like online safety is paramount when doing these things and I just wanted to kind of judge these websites on a few things. So first of all I'm looking at safety which is number one. Second is uh, easeability. Is it user friendly? Can you use it? Does it work? The second one is layout. Um, can I navigate the site? Okay. And the um, fourth one is uh, just is it does it work? You know is it compatible? Is it going to work? Can you find a friend or a loved one or whatever on there? You know, is this going to work? So that's how I've kind of looked at these websites. And we'll go through each one right now. And then I'm going to save uh, the best one to last, which I think is the, the, the most appropriate one, like the best one. Uh, and then we'll go through the other ones in no random order. The other ones, I'll just talk about them, but the best one I'll, I'll save to last. So that's it. I actually went through one, two, three, four, five different sites slash apps to come across all of this uh, data and information. And I registered on each one. So I thought I would test it out just so that I wouldn't kind of give you some blank information about some random, you know, app or website. I wanted to actually test it out and see if it worked. And if I could work it, then anybody can work it. And, you know, it's, it, you know, I can give you my full opinion on it rather than just looking at a website and saying, oh yeah, this is going to work. Now there are other websites that do things like uh, searching for friends online. I know there's uh, one, uh, Authentic Friendships, which is an app that I did um, a sponsored Instagram post with. And if you go over to my Instagram page and give me a follow, that'd be super awesome. I usually follow back anyway. My link will be in the description below and my tag is on here somewhere. And same with Twitter. If you go and give me a cheeky follow, I'll probably follow you back. So I did uh, a sponsored uh, post with them making Authentic Friendships. So definitely check out that post. It was super awesome. And that app is very, very good. But these ones are different. These ones always uh, these ones are a little bit different. All these websites are specifically designed to see if you can get a best friend or a partner or a romantic relationship out of it because they're kind of like primarily dating sites, but they all have the option to just make friends. Okay, so the first site we're going to look at right now, this is the, the, the first site I came across. This one's called autisticdating.net. So let's, uh, I'll jump in, so I'll show you the screen grab of what it actually looks like. So autisticdating.net uh, is kind of like an interesting one. Um, it's it, this unusually bland website. So um, I find that for safety, it looks okay. Uh, currently, I, I set it up and I went through all the, the, the registration process and um, I kind of, I don't think it actually let me do it properly. I'm not entirely sure. Let me have a check my profile. 
So I went through the registration process and I just put anything in there um, and you had to select if you're a male looking for a female, which is typically what it is. You have to put your address down and stuff like that. And then it kind of has this carousel at the top of the actual screen where it shows you different uh, people. And of course, because I'm male, potentially looking for female, because that's what I just put down. Like I'm not, I actually have a girlfriend. And, but, uh, you know, as for this, um, it actually shows a bunch of different people at the top here. And then you can go and visit their profiles. And when you visit their profiles, you can like just check out, you know, what, what they're about, what their bio is says and then it, you can actually rate them you can either like it or hate it which is basically like th they'll know if you don't um want to see that type of person again anybody who matches that profile kind of like a typical dating website uh, there seems to be a lot of people on here i don't think that it's a you know it's not a bad thing i think it's a um yeah, I think it's a kind of an interesting one. I don't think it's uh, a totally, like, it's not a sinister one by by any chance. Um, so if I think about this in terms of, is it safe? I would say that it looks pretty safe. I mean, there's no crazy fees you have to pay. They have a privacy policy. The website looks okay. And um, to me, I would say that this definitely is, um, it's a safe website, but I don't know if it's the best website. I, I didn't rate this one. I was my number one website, actually, uh, you know, just rated it as just it's it's a nothing like an in-between website so this this was that website there's also this thing called like super features or something where you can actually um pay monthly for it but i don't actually know what the super features does but you can always check it out and for yourself to see if it's something you'd be interested in but bear in mind all these websites are scattered across the world of course this is a dot net one so you might find somebody who's in uh, america or the uk and you might be in somewhere else so just bear that in mind when you look at these websites um, so out of 10, I'd give this one probably like a 5 out of 10. It doesn't really look that entertaining. Um, I don't know how much of these people are real. You don't really know if these are all individual people or if it's just, you know, robots kind of making the site look full or if they're using you know, just random stock images. I don't know. To be honest with you, I haven't got a clue because there's no way of telling. But I suppose you can definitely check it out and see for yourself if it's actually, you know, a, a dating website that you fancy using really. Right then guys, so that was uh, autistic dating. I think that the usability on that site was pretty easy. The navigation was a little bit difficult to know where you go to look for people. You know, the thing at the top, the banner at the top just looks like an advertisement that these are all the people we have on our books. It doesn't actually look at, hey, click this and then it becomes a profile. That's not really that um, open and, and easy to understand. So um, in terms of usability, it's okay. The navigation is quite nice and it's typical, you know, yes or no. I like this person. I don't like this person. And you can like love her or exit. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much all there is on autisticdating.net. And it, pff, it's okay, I guess. I'm never going to use these websites personally because obviously I have a partner, but in terms of people who just wanted to try out ones, I don't think this is a dangerous one, so maybe check it out. But also, if you're, um, you know, you have to be over the age of 18. So anybody watching this who's younger than 18, um, don't use any of these websites and also consult with your parents as well. If you are over the age of 18, be still with your parents, consult them, see if it's okay if you can use these websites because I don't want to be in trouble for telling you to go on a dating website. Okay, so... The next website we looked at was Love to Meet You. Now, this is an interesting website. Now, Love to Meet You, to me, I, when I was looking for dating websites, this came to me and it came across as being a dating website. But what it actually is, is kind of like a dating agency service where you basically, you have to be over 18, obviously, and have a learning disability. And then you email these people or you contact the Love to Meet You team. And what they do is then they, they kind of look through your profile, they profile you, and then they have a bunch of people who are, who are signed up and with their profiles. And they kind of like match profiles to see if you want to make, you know, best friends with people or you want to kind of like maybe enter a romantic relationship with people. But there is a charge. There's a fee to pay. And I think this one's like £40 a year or something to be part of this service, which is another one. Because if you look on their website, safety is their number one priority and I think that is absolutely uh, great that they actually put that on there so this one looks very very safe and um, there's also a Welsh language flag and a British flag at the top which actually you can change the language on this website which I've never seen before on a website which is pretty amazing um, so yeah this website seems uber safe it seems very good because all the people who uh, are all the, the, dealing with the memberships and, and the people who kind of like match the relationships over are DBS checked which means that they have a government background check to make sure that there's um, that they're completely clean and that they've got no history of kind of like anything dodgy and um, so everybody on here is super squeaky clean and, uh, and and it's pretty awesome and I think this website is very safe and it's a very good way to go if you wanted ultimate just 
I want to know that when I'm going on a dating site or a dating agency that it's super kind of like clean and clear cut and safe and definitely safe and easy to use and I definitely use this and I guess that's why they charge like this yearly fee of 40 pounds because they actually have staff that have to staff this website and do all that kind of stuff so this one love to meet you uh, was okay the website a bit of a weird one so the website is like hft.org.uk um, but if you actually check out the link in the description of this video you can actually just use that link because it's quite a long one it's how it was hard to find to be totally honest with you but they do actually do this but again this one's a little different you don't like rate anybody or anything like that and you don't kind of just flick through people like you do on tinder you kind of just apply to be a member of this dating site and um yeah i mean it's worth checking out if that's something that you feel would be cool okay guys so number three this this third website which i found uh, was called Unipi, I guess. I think that's how you say it. I'm actually not sure how to say this, but it's unipi.com, which is U-N-E-E-P-I.com. Now, I came across this website and it looks pretty good. Now, uh, in terms of uh, this one's usability, it, it's okay. I mean, it looks well. It has like a responsive site, but as you can see from the, the video I'll play you now, I actually had troubles actually registering for this website. So I couldn't actually register on this, so I couldn't even log in and use it. So in terms of user-friendly, it's not very user-friendly to actually log in because I don't actually know how to sign up. I mean, there was a lot of forms to fill in and I tried everything, but it still didn't let me. But if you check out the uh, what they do, they basically say that they are an online dating and relationships resource designed to help support people on the autism spectrum. And as you can see by their logo, they're using like, you know, the puzzle piece kind of heart thing, which is typical. Um, this one also uh, has like a pricing bracket as well. So they, you can see on their website, there's like different pricing for different things. You know, you can pay monthly or whatever uh, for different services. But basically they have like um, a podcast and forums set up so that you can, uh, you can meet people in a social, online social way, I guess. That's how they're doing it. And then you can obviously uh, match up with somebody. I don't know how safe this is because I have no idea how to use it. There is a help section where you can actually just like talk them and chat online to like an online help forum but in terms of actually trying to um see if if, the, if this is safe and secure i haven't a clue because it won't actually let me uh, log in but the the little tagline is find your missing puzzle piece autism and dating social community so this one's more like a social community you don't really swipe through people to say yes or no on people you kind of just get to know people and then that they everyone knows on there that there's an element of maybe flirting and potentially romantic dating or whatever so uh uni pie is a verb become two to become one forever or oh, that's it they explain what the name is so if i was gonna rate this site uh oh i didn't rate the last one so if i was to rate the last site which is that love to meet you i would say that one's about an eight because that's quite a good website and it's quite safe this one i'd have to rate on about a three because it's not really a dating site. It's more like a chat social site that you could potentially pick up a date on uh, if you're on the autism spectrum. But there's nothing like secure here that tells me that this isn't going to be full of people just creeping about, which is weird. Obviously, online dating stuff really creeps me out, especially when it comes to like you know people with learning disabilities. So um, I don't, I wouldn't suggest using this one, and I don't think that it's that safe. I, I don't know. I don't know. But you know, maybe maybe you think differently. Maybe you've used this. And you'll be like, hey, Dan, uh, I've used it and it works fine for me and I've used it to find my spouse or whatever. So let me know in the comment section below if you've ever come across this website. Okay, number four, guys. This one is quite an interesting one and I did manage to create an account on this one. So this website is Aspie Singles, uh, which is aspie-singles.com, which is an interesting name, I guess. It's quite fitting for this channel. So uh, this is a dating on the spectrum site. So what happens is you're, you, you create a profile and you log in. And then you have this thing called like members search at the top. So when you're on the members search, you're basically presented with a whole list of different people. And as you can see here, um, there's actually me there uh, at the top, but then you've also got a bunch of other people. And then if you just click on one of their profiles, like let's click on this guy, um, you can actually see that it tells you that the screen name is, where they're from, you know, the high, how thin they are, how, how you know, what what Aspie scale they're on, which is a weird thing to put down, which is, is a bit weird. Um, if they have any children, they smoke, all this kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, this one is very detailed. It seems to be quite secure. There's a padlock symbol at the top of the um, actual uh, address bar here, which is always always a really good sign to know that the site is secure. This seems pretty decent. I don't know how many people are on here because I've been on here a few times over the past couple of hours and the list of people doesn't actually refresh and there only seems to be uh, maybe about three or four people on here. So I don't know if that just show me a random block of people, um, but if I just type in, if I search for profiles, if I search for like, you know, uh, I don't know, 
women or, or men or whatever in Chicago, then it'll come up with a bunch of different people. So you have to try out the site just to kind of figure out what it uh, what it does um, and just have a play around. I guess that's the idea. So this site, usability, I think that it's quite an easy site to, to do. It was easy to sign up, easy to log in and easy to look around. I don't know how easy the messaging services are within this, uh, but there are also forums uh, within this website that you could use as well. I don't really like, um, I don't really want to message people to, you know, because I'm not actually actively looking. I was just testing these sites, but there is a forum and a blog. So, yeah, you know, to me, it's quite user friendly. It looks secure. If I was to rate this out of 10, I'd give it a six out of 10 easy because it just looks dead easy and nice to use. So, um, you can add these people as friends. So it's kind of like a bit of a social media platform as well, like all of these websites, I'm guessing. So guys, the Piesto Resistance, the last one is coming up. But guys, if you are finding this video very, very helpful and you think that these sites and this video could help inform somebody else, please, please, can you share this video on your Facebook page or your Twitter page or your Instagram page? Because I really want to help more people and you can help me help other people and somebody might get value from this. So please share away and it'll be super, super awesome. Okay, so the next one I looked at was actually a mobile phone app or a cell phone app if you're in the United States. And um, I actually did did a whole video actually on um, different apps for autism. So if you're really interested in finding uh, more apps for autism, not dating apps, but just apps to help autism, I did a video on it. I'll leave it in a card above here somewhere and in the description below, it'll be an autism apps video link, but definitely check that out because if you're into apps and stuff like that, that would pretty be awesome. Okay. So this next one is called Hickey or Hikey. I don't know how to say it, but it's H-I-K-I. -I. And I came across this one on the App Store. And basically it's, you, you sign up for it and you register and you get this awesome picture of me that I put on there. And then what happens is you click this little uh, icon in the middle and you can just literally flick through a bunch of people by saying, yeah, yes, I like that person or, um, oh no, I don't like that person or whatever. You can, you know, and you can just smile or love heart. And by doing that, I guess you are telling people that you would like to date them or you're telling people that you think they're friendly or you just don't like the way that person seems or you don't like their profile and um, you can just not see them. Um, and so this one is kind of what reminds me of what I've seen of Tinder. I've never actually downloaded or used Tinder because it came out way after I was in a relationship. So in terms of uh, this usability, I guess this is kind of like the swipe left, swipe right feature thing that Tinder has, but you just definitely click these buttons. So um, yeah, does it work? I guess so. This one seems the most safe because it's an app and you have like, with apps, you actually have a developer and you actually have a company. And by having like an app and a developer, you have somebody to hold accountable for something, say if it breaks or if you have an issue with it, you can report it directly to a person. Whereas a website, you, you know, the, the email link may be dead or it could just be a random person. So with this app, I really think it's really cool. And the ease of it, having it on your mobile phone, having it on your cell phone, on you or on your iPad or whatever, very convenient, very easy to use. And I highly recommend it. So in terms of safety, that app gets a 10 out of 10 from me because I find it like it was the best one out of all of them for user friendly. It was user friendly. It was easy to sign up. It was easy to find people. The navigation worked very, very well. It was safe and secure because you have this option of contacting the company. And I thought that was super, super awesome. And something that is definitely needed when you're looking for um, you know apps and stuff for dating on uh, specifically on the spectrum and that app is specifically designed for people on the spectrum which is super super awesome guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to check out my other videos and hit that subscribe button so you see more and don't forget to check out the next video